So budget-friendly 5G-ready smartphones is something we've seen an awful lot of recently. I tend to unbox at least a couple of them every bloody week at the moment. And TCL is the latest to add to the pile with the TCL 20R 5G. But this is actually one of the most affordable 5G smartphones in 2021 at just 179 quid. It'll be available here in the UK from late October, so not long to wait now if you fancy yourself one of these bad boys. And now for your viewing pleasure, I will whip the TCL 20R 5G on out of the box. Box, take you a full on tour of the hardware and the software, test out the game and grant the camera, all that good stuff. And for more on the latest and greatest tech, please do plug subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers! Right, so what do you actually get inside the box besides the TCL 20R 5G? You get one pretty dinky TCL 10 watt adapter, one Type-C USB cable, quick start guides, pokey SIM pin, and that's it. Just all that and the phone itself, of course. Uh, so no protective condom case. So the TCL 20R 5G rocks a fairly standard budget design. It is a fully plastic frame, of course, with a separate back and edging. That back end does actually have quite a soft texture to it, which is uh, which is rather nice. Feels nice to clutch, uh, but it is also very, very smooth, as you can see there as well. So it probably will end up slipping off the, uh, the arm of your sofa if you bung it on there. I'm just personally rather glad that it's a matte finish on the back end of the TCL 20R 5G so it doesn't seem to pick up greasy fingerprints when you're fondling the thing and pretty easy to wipe down. You do have a rear mounted fingerprint sensor on this thing as well which is increasingly rare in 2021. It tends to be edge mounted or an in-display fingerprint sensor but seems to be well positioned ever so slightly indented so you can sort of fumble around and find it with your fingertip without having to look every time. And that camera chassis does poke a little bit out of that back end of the TCL 20R 5G as well. Certainly enough to cause a bit of wobble when the thing's lying flat on a desk and you're poking and prodding that screen. And this is a 6.52 inch blower as well and fairly thick bezel surrounding that display. So it is a bit of a hand filler, that's for sure. Uh, quite a chunky monkey as well and got a decent heft to it. You've got a choice of two colours with the TCL 20R 5G. This is the uh, not particularly exciting granite grey model, but if you look at the box, you can also pick it up in a lazurite blue. Uh, what is lazurite? Well, I'm glad that you asked. Lazurite is a tectosilicate mineral with sulphate, sulphur and chloride. That's according to good old Wikipedia. Cheers, Wiki. And if you have a bit of a squint inside the SIM tray as well, you'll see the space for two SIMs at the same time. Otherwise, that second SIM slot can also be used for micro SD memory cards to expand the storage. So TCL 20R 5G all set up, good to go. And what we've got running on here is Android 11, of course, good old reliable. Uh, but it has been rejiggered somewhat with TCL's own launcher, which is imaginatively titled the TCL UI 3.0. So on the surface, it does look a lot like stock Android. Uh, and you do have your Google Discover feed uh, right there when you want it. You can drag down the notifications bar from anywhere. But you'll notice that this has uh, a lot of extra toggles uh, thrown in there, which you don't get in standard Android, the likes of mini notification, one-handed mode. And that one-handed mode, definitely does come in very handy indeed uh, certainly if you want to reach up anywhere near the top end of your apps and other shenanigans you'll spy as well that if we go into the apps tray it is all ordered by a uh, category so communication media utilities but if you're not a fan of that you can quickly and easily uh, rearrange it just back into alphabetical order and you probably notice that there's a lot of stuff uh, that comes pre-installed on here i've downloaded a few bits of my own like disney plus and deezer but with the tcl ui launch you've got a second browser for some reason you get crapware like booking.com and facebook chucked on there and some of these apps like the smart manager are perfectly fine they do help to uh, clear out some of the uh, the memory cache and some of the storage as well if you've got lots of crap that you've uh, downloaded and then forgotten about. And if you jump into the TCL 20R 5G settings, it's mostly stock Android stuff, but with a few additions of TCLs on. So if you dive into advanced features, for instance, you've once again got that one-handed mode, you've got a screen recorder tool, got a remote lock feature in case you have to lose your device, you've got the game mode as well, which I will touch on in a bit. And apparently the TCL 20R 5G is Android Enterprise recommended as well, which basically means that TCL guaranteed you'll get a couple of of major updates on this thing and also timely security patches. Not sure exactly how many uh, Android updates uh, you can expect, but I'd be very surprised if it didn't get Android 12 uh, towards the end of this year, probably start of next year actually, and then Android 13 after that as well. I'm going to say the power button and the volume rocker here on the TCL 20R 5G do feel like they're wedged a little bit too close to the centre. I'd prefer they were slightly further up and slightly better separated as well, uh, especially considering the fingerprint sensor is actually quite far up that back end. But the good news is you don't even need to touch the power button. You can just basically finger that sensor and as you can see there you're straight into your desktops. And that really is remarkably quick for a, uh, a smartphone under £200. Very impressive indeed. And you do also have a face and lock feature which you can use as well. Just swipe up. I'll scan for your mug and again straight in. 
So that 6.52 inch IPS display is really not bad at all for a sub £200 budget smartphone. Uh, it's Full HD plus resolution, so reasonably crisp visuals despite the fact it's a good old size. Even pretty small text is uh, nice and legible. You won't notice any real pixelation or anything like that going on. Got a dinky little nipple notch poking its way ever so slightly into that screen. As you can see there, quite quaint uh, in a world of selfie orifices, but uh, doesn't intrude too far when you do decide to get a big old full screen Netflix session on the go. And yeah, you won't exactly be bowled over by vibrant, vivid, slap you in the face colours when you're, you know, kicking back with some animation, bit of anime action or whatever. But the colours aren't muted either. So again, it's perfectly acceptable budget viewing experience. And if you jump on into the next Vision app, this does offer a small selection of uh, display settings that you can tinker around with the likes of an eye comfort mode. You can play with the, uh, the colour temperature as well. And you do also have the image enhancement and video enhancement features as well, which is supposed to improve the, uh, the sharpness, the contrast of any uh, really low res images. I can't personally say I notice much of a difference when I switch those on. Seems to be a reasonably bright panel as well. No trouble seeing it outdoors on that maximum level where it's supposed to hit around 500 nits. And you've also got a smart refresh rate mode as well, where you can automatically have it cycling between 60 and 90 hertz, depending on what you're up to. Now onto audio, and it is just a mono speaker setup here on the TCL 20R 5G. Uh, you can get serial speaker smartphones at this sort of price point, but let's bump up the volume, see if it's actually okay. So you've got a textured finish on that back end, which should help with grip. It doesn't seem to slide around in my palms, which is always a good. Uh, yeah, gotta say, unfortunately, that sound quality is, for want of a better word, utter pants. Just really tinny and distorted uh, when you sort of bump up anywhere near that maximum volume, which isn't particularly powerful anyway. So you'll definitely 100% want to be relying on a good bit of headphone action. You've got a headphone jack there, thank Christ, on the TCL 20 R 5G and Bluetooth support as well. As for your performance, well, that comes courtesy of a MediaTek Dimensity 700 chipset. It's a popular budget-friendly 5G uh, platform because it comes with the built-in 5G modem. And so far, touch wood, everything seems reasonably smooth here on the TCL 20 R 5G. Occasional little judder here and there, but exactly what you would expect for a sub £200 budget phone. No real shocks or surprises at all when it comes to the benchmarking. As you can see, they're pretty standard Geekbench scores for the Dimensity 700. And as always, just going to quickly test out the gaming chops here on the TCL 20R 5G with a good bit of Call of Duty action. You do have the game box, uh, which basically just helps to collect all of your games together in one nifty space. And you've got a couple of bonus gaming features like blocking notifications quickly and easily. You've got your game turbo mode as well. And certainly, if you just want to do a bit of simple gaming on the likes of Call of Duty Mobile, PUBG, uh, things like that, then the TCL 20R 5G will do the job absolutely fine. You are limited to the more sort of medium detail settings and frame rates, uh, but certainly the frame rates stayed consistent. I didn't notice any judders or any serious performance issues while I was uh, playing. And the TCL 20R 5G stayed nice and cool as well, which isn't surprising because the MediaTek Dimensity 700 is nice and energy efficient. You've got 180 hertz touch sampling support here as well as so every pork and swipe certainly instantly registered, no worries on that front. So yeah, again, if you want to do a bit of light gaming on the side, it'll do the job. And no issues with connectivity either because you've got that 5G support that's actually spread across both SIMs as well, thanks to the Dimensity 700. And you shouldn't have a problem with battery life here on the TCL 20R 5G either. You've got a 4,000 500 milliamp capacity cell crammed inside uh, this uh, gorgeous granite grey chassis and uh, that should keep it going all day long because certainly I've been playing on it for a good two and a half hours now uh, you know streaming media get a bit of gaming all of that good stuff and it's only trickled down about sort of 15 percent in that time it's definitely helped along again by the fact that you've got that energy efficient platform running the show because this TCL blower ain't the fastest when it comes to recharge and there's only 15 watt fast charge support and you do only actually get a 10 watt adapter bundled in the box so you're gonna have to provide your own adapter if you want to maximize the charge and speeds and last up that triple lens rear camera slapped here on the back of the tcl 20 r 5g don't get too excited by the fact that it's three lenses because one is a two megapixel depth sensor the other is a two megapixel macro uh, but it's a 13 megapixel primary shooter we'll be concentrating on and like a lot of budget smartphone rivals from the likes of xiaomi oppo poco etc you get an absolutely feature laden uh, camera ui here lots of different modes and stuff to play around with you probably spend most of your time in good old auto mode of course but so far uh, the shutter speed seems nice and nippy and the focus seems Seems reliable. You don't have an ultra wide angle uh, shooter that you can swap to, unfortunately, which a lot of budget rivals do offer these days. But you've got all the usual filter shenanigans, you've got the Google Lens stuff. And you can swap to a portrait mode as well, which just allows you to add a nice bokeh style background effect to really help your subject to stand out using that depth sensor. 
And photo quality with that 13 megapixel primary sensor, pretty much what you would expect from the TCL 20R 5G. Definitely don't want to be shooting against any bright skies or anything like that, because high contrast, this thing ain't really a fan of. You'll expect you know, like a bit of saturation and all that. Again, shooting in low light as well, you can expect some noise and grain to creep in quite suddenly. And there's no dedicated night mode on this thing to, uh, to help compensate in low light. And for your home movie options as well, well, you're pretty limited as far as this goes, because you're stuck at basically 1080p, full HD at 30 frames per second there's no 60 fps option there's definitely no 4k resolution and if you are into your selfies well you can expect pretty basic results from the 8 megapixel selfie shooter here on the tcl 20 r 5g as well nothing particularly outstanding there just simple shareable shots is pretty much what you're limited to don't think i'll be sharing that little beauty there though it's one of the many reasons i don't bother with instagram so there you have it in a nutshell tcl 20r 5g 179 quid hits in the uk late october one of the most affordable 5g smartphones out there it doesn't do anything particularly new or fresh or original or exciting indeed but it looks like a solid all-round blower if you're just after something that can you know handle a good bit of media streaming maybe a bit of light gaming it's the most demanding sort of tasks uh, and apart from that just an all-round dependable effort Hopefully, touch wood, will do the job. So what do you reckon about the TCL 20R 5G? Be great to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. Please do plug, subscribe, and ding the notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest tech. And have yourselves a fantastic rest of the week. Cheers, everyone. Love you.